Hello and welcome back to Assorted Beefs where I talk about anything I want to that doesn't fit into niche tea for any particular reason. This honestly could fit into niche tea just fine. It's just that the reading community, the author community has so much shit going on at any given time. I literally could make an entire series where I'm only talking about that and I don't want to do that. So I've shifted this over here. We're talking about Readers Take Denver. Here's your George Tax. I hope everyone has a lovely Saturday and has a wonderful rest of your weekend. So Readers Take Denver is a reading book convention slash author signing event that happens in Denver every year. And this year's event happened this past weekend. Odds are you've already heard about it because you saw probably this video. This guy's an author who was on one of the panels at Readers Take Denver, and he talked about a particular incident that happened at the convention where he was accused of stealing someone else's work by another author who was on the same panel as him. And that video is him defending himself from those allegations. That is ironically probably the mildest thing that I've heard about what happened at Readers Take Denver this year. I've heard maybe one or two nice things about this event and that had to do with the fact that the authors themselves really did as much as they possibly could for readers and the fact that people still had a great time talking to the authors and meeting other people in the community. That's pretty much it. The general theme though is that it was basically completely undercooked. It was underplanned. It was not finished or ready to happen. Completely uncoordinated, absolute chaos. Like you couldn't even make a TanaCon analogy because TanaCon was better. There are so many accounts from so many people. I'm gonna try and summarize the things that I've heard. Starting off strong, there was no signage anywhere anywhere. There were 3,500 attendees and none of them had any idea what to do when they got there. There was little to no pre-communication like emails and stuff sent to attendees beforehand, which is usually very common, like things you should know, you can bring this, go to this place, etc. So people just showed up and tried to figure it out. Again, 3,500 people. Those 3,500 people then went into one singular line to get their badges at registration. That line on the first day, like before the official convention starts, which is when you want to pick up your pass so you don't have to wait in that line the next day, it went on for three hours and then they just ended it and made people come back the next day. Which probably had to do with the fact that a lot of the staff and volunteers didn't know what they need to do. They weren't properly trained, so a lot of them were just winging it. One account claimed that volunteers were originally told that if they work for six hours, they'll have their entrance to the convention comped, and then six days before the event, that was up to 15 hours of working to get your ticket comped. So then like half of the volunteers dropped off. So they were also understaffed. The absolute number one complaint though by attendees is the fact that most of them did not get the chance to see all of the authors they wanted to see. Tons of people have said that they've specifically pre-ordered books from authors to get signed and they weren't able to get them because they were not able to get in to see that author. And according to one author, this event was pitched as one that would be lineless, like it would be really smooth sailing and everybody could just come in and go and do what they need and not have to be in lines the whole time. It was basically one big line. There was not nearly enough time allocated to the author signing portion of the event, which authors have come out and claimed that they specifically flagged. They had some crazy ticketing system they attempted to do to try and organize who was going to see which group of authors which day, but it completely fell apart. Nobody knew what needed to happen. Nobody was keeping track of it properly. It was not clearly communicated to anyone. Oh, I forgot about this. On communication, people were told, attendees, that in order for them to get information, because there weren't signs and because there weren't enough staff around to actually help, they were all instructed to join different WhatsApp groups. You have to be kidding me. There was also supposedly little to no security at the event. Authors had a bunch of their stuff stolen because there was no one to lock anything up and no security to look after it. Allegedly, a couple military guys from a nearby event snuck into like a masquerade party and SA'd people. The organizers paid to have like content creators and influencers there and then like forgot who was supposed to do what, didn't properly communicate where they were supposed to be or where things were. They kept moving the schedule around. One creator who was specifically comped to come so that she could promote the event was then not allowed to post videos or photos of the event. Okay. And on top of all of that, staff were rude and not just the staff for the event. Although I did hear, I want to say like a lot of volunteers really tried really hard and were great. A lot of authors made a point to specifically shout out volunteers who helped them, but the official staff was rude. And also the staff at the venue was rude, probably because they were super stressed and frustrated, which I can empathize with. But I have seen so many accounts of people saying like, I was snapped at, I was yelled at, I was 
disregarded and pushed away. They were so rude and mean. Like at this point, I think I could have done a better job. No, I don't have any experience. I have seen multiple accounts of people saying they saw people openly crying and not just attendees, volunteers and authors too. It was so bad. The woman who runs the event is an author named Lisa Renee Jones and she's put like a very short statement out on their Facebook page, the official one for the event and turned off comments, which people were not happy about. And it seems like has at least sent one message out to attendees, but isn't really taking a lot of accountability for things a little bit, but not very much. General consensus is that obviously it doesn't seem like she was prepared for this. People are saying it, it's almost like it was her first time doing this, even though it wasn't. But apparently there were way more attendees this year than there were last year. And that probably made a big difference. There were a lot of specific things about her in people's feedback as well. Like she was very visible and very around and also very rude and not helpful. Lisa and whatever team she has is already promoting the 2025 event, which is going to be in February. But I have yet to see anyone not say this is why I'm not going next year. So I have no idea how they're going to have an event, to be frank. Good luck.